Hello there, Sagittarius. How's it going, you guys? <clears throat> it's time for your reading. It's been a little while. But I haven't forgot about you guys, Sagittarius. You know, I haven't forgot. Yep, I'm, <laughs> I'm still here. It's the new year, so. What's going on here with Sagittarius? Yeah, long you. Hmm. So now Sagittarius, long you means happiness and joy and success, but it's in reverse. So there could be something that you're unhappy about. Um. And long you was also talking about that, um, you know, <clears throat> not to do anything impulsive. Okay. Yeah. Don't really resist anything and don't and don't be impulsive, okay? What else is going on with Sagittarius? I hope you guys are having a good day afternoon whenever you're watching me. So you have the blank rune. Hmm. So usually, uh, Sagittarius, the blank rune usually is talking about some sort of a, a decision that needs to be made. So there could be some sort of a decision that um, is going to be coming up that you'll need to make, okay? I'm pretty confident you're going to make the right decision, though, all right? Because... Uh, this is a really good year. I feel that this is going to be a really good year for a lot of us. All right. So what else is going on here with Sagittarius? Gabo. Gabo. Mm -hmm. All right. So Gabo is talking about blessings. It's talking about blessings and and gifts and also Sagittarius it's also talking about you know it's a good time for like relationships like if this is really good news for partnerships all right so some of you may be in a partnership and it, this is very very uh positive all right but mainly I'm feeling, uh, at least right now, so far, that this is just some sort of, uh, you know, blessing uh, in your life. Some sort of blessing coming to your life. Uh, Nenez. Nenez. Okay, so... Menez talks about gifts and gifts. You know, just like just like Gabo here. Um, I don't know why that came out of my mouth. It just something it just came out of my mouth. But uh, Menez is usually indicating that you're on the receiving end of some sort of assistance. Okay, so you could be receiving some sort of assistance from someone. All right, from someone or something or, you know, something or someone. This could be assistance from some sort of an agency or it could be assistance from someone personal that you know. And also, Sagittarius, this could also represent you you know, possibly being asked to, to you know, do something uh, to like maybe donate your time or something for, for something that is for the better good. It could be something like that as well. All right. But when I see Gable here next to that, I'm pretty much thinking that you're on the receiving end of some sort of assistance. That's what I'm kind of thinking. So what's the next one? What's the middle room? Wow, 
stable again. <laughs> yeah. And so and since I see Gable twice, you know, blessings, gifts, assistance from someone, this could also be some sort of a partnership too. All right. So, um, yeah, this could be some sort of assistance from, from someone, uh, you know. Hmm. Interesting. It, this could be like a friend or it could be a lover. But it's some sort of assistance. It looks it looks awesome. <clears throat> what else is going on? Some sort of blessing for sure. Always the advice with Gabo Sagittarius is to be you know show gratitude and be very grateful for what you know what you have. What else is going on here with Sagittarius? Oh, so we have. We have uh, Othala. Hmm. Othala is Pisces energy. Okay, so in Pisces, uh, I mean, well, yeah, this is Pisces energy. Uh, Sagittarius, this could be like um, a family member that you miss or something. Maybe you live uh, apart from a family member and you miss them. It could also, uh, you know, you know, means something about, you know, breaking some sort of family taboo or something like that. But I don't feel like that because I see just too many blessings around here. I feel like a lot of you miss somebody in your family. All right. So, yeah, that could be something. It could be something like that. Hmm. It could also be like a family member that is around you as well that is not happy. Okay, for whatever reason. Hmm. And what else is going on here with Sagittarius? So we have Awas. Awas. This is the death room. Hmm. So something new is beginning. This doesn't mean death. This means something might have ended and this is a new beginning. This is also uh, Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn as well. Um, but um, this is just some sort of a new beginning. And this could be somebody that's close to you. This could be, um, this could be a partner or something of some sort. This is a Capricorn. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. What else is going on with Sagittarius? This is kind of like an interesting read. <laughs> Hajimez. So now Hadjalez is, is, is shocking. This is something shocking. Something shocking and unexpected is, gonna, is about ready to happen, Sagittarius, okay? We don't know what that is yet, but you know, to be quite honest with you, um, I feel that this shocking, uh, this kind of like reminds me of the tower card in tarot. But I think this is a good shocking. And you know why I say that, Sagittarius, is because I see Gabo down over here twice with Menez in the middle of it. So it's something shocking, something shocking about this gift or blessings that you'll be receiving. The The advice with Hadjalez is always... Uh, that you cannot control what other people do, but you can always control yourself. Huh. So yeah, I feel that this is going to be a good shocking. This is something kind of like, uh, it reminds me of the tower card, you know, unexpected, just like, really? Wow, bam, you know? Huh. Let's get you another, let's get you another room. I'm glad Hadjalez, it wasn't the last room <laughs> touching Perth, though. 
that kind of would have sucked a little bit. Then I would have been like, uh huh. So you got Leguse. Leguse is very, very positive, okay? It's, it's, it's flowing. It's flowing like water. This is water, okay? So Leguse is, is flowing. Um, and exactly what I was thinking about Pertho over here is to not resist. Don't, don't, uh, don't resist anything, Sagittarius. Just go with the flow and use your intuition, all right? And I know you will because I see uh, Laguse in the upright. This is talking about using your intuition, all right? Knowing when to go and when not to, all right? So don't try to fight backwards. Don't try to fight forwards. Just kind of like float and 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 you know, sail downstream, all right? And you've got some wonderful gifts or promises. Something is coming to you. Yeah, something great. Let's get some tarot cards here and see what else is going on here <clears throat> with Sagittarius. <clears throat> Ah, the tower, see? <laughs> yeah. So it, it's like what I said, you know, Sagittarius. Here, I'm going to move these a little bit so I can get, make sure that you get to see all the cards. But, you know, the tower represents, uh, you know, something shocking and unexpected. And, you know, and that's for sure what I what I definitely, uh, I I... I see. I see it here. <laughs> I see it here. It's like sometimes I wonder, why do I pull tarot cards? Because, you know, really the the runes kind of like say it all too. Well, the tarot cards help a little bit. They, they do. All right. So, wow. So we have the Queen of Wands. All right. So the Queen of Wands is... Uh, is very powerful, fiery energy. And this is someone that will be willing to to fight for you and to fight and to be on your side and fight with you on your side. This is where I was talking about with partnerships up here with Gable. All right. The Queen of Wands is really fiery energy, okay? So this is someone with real fiery energy willing to to stand up, you know, alongside you and and uh, and fight for you. All right. Now, that could be somebody else's energy. If this is your energy, then this is you being very, very ambitious and and not afraid of anything and moving forward no matter what. OK. See what else is going on here with Sagittarius. Wow, the Three of Wands. Okay, well, I like the Three of Wands. Now, you know, Sagittarius, the, the, the Three of Wands is talking about, um, you know, um, you're going to have a, you're good, you've been working really hard, I can see, okay? And so whatever you've been doing here, uh, you're going to have, you might not feel right now that you have time uh, to enjoy some of the fruits of your labors, you know, um, but I feel that you're going to be able to, and you're going to be able to look out uh, into your new world here pretty soon, all right, and, and be able to expand your horizons. And I don't think that you really feel that way yet, but it's coming, okay, you know? You have certain things, you know, that, yeah. But what else is going on here with Sagittarius? Wow, the Ten of Wands. Hmm. So I like this. I like this. Okay, so the Ten of Wands is usually talking about um, 
a very heavy burden that's on your shoulders, okay? So, you know, Sagittarius, you've, you've had a very heavy burden on your shoulders, a very heavy burden on your shoulders. And what's really cool about this is this burden is getting taken away. There's no more burden. It's going to just disappear. It's, it's going to go away. Um, it, and it has to do up here with Gabo. With Gabo and Gabo and Menez. This is Menez. So, you know, if you're receiving some sort of assistance from someone or some something, it's going to lift a great burden off your back. It's going to be gone. And that's awesome. And look at this. If you'll notice, this Ten of Wands is right underneath the tower. So that's what's shocking. You're going to be shocked. It's going to be, wow, really? Wow. And so this is... This burden's going to be gone. Let's go with the flow, Sagittarius. Wow. See, the reading's getting better and better and better, I think. <laughs> I think it is. Uh, the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords. This is a wonderful new beginning, a new idea, a new start. Um... And look at the angel here holding, see the angel? You know, normally the Ace of Swords has um, has a crown on the top of it. But this particular one doesn't, okay? He's got an angel on top. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like this is something from God. This is like, this is like, uh, this is like good karma. This is some really good idea. And you've been... You've been working hard. You've got someone here that's, that's willing to stand up and fight for you and help you. Um, yeah, it doesn't necessarily, this doesn't necessarily have to be a, a love. This could be, you know, someone else. But, um, yeah, you got the Ace of Swords. This is awesome. This is, you know... This is like, you know, really good karma. And I don't know if you knew this or not, Sagittarius, but uh, this year, 2024, is a number eight year in numerology, okay? And so number eight represents um, not only money and finances, but it also represents karma, all right? And this is good karma, What else is going on with Sagittarius? So a great new idea coming to light. Just, you know, and now you don't have this extra burden. What else? Seven of Pentacles. So keep working. Keep working, Sagittarius. And you have someone here that's going to help you, is going to help you along. So, you know, the Nine of Pentacles is somebody planting seeds and working hard. Okay, working hard for the future, working hard, um, you know, working hard. Because, like I said, this year is talking about finances, all right? You know, I, I also feel that you're going to have a, uh, you're going to, you're going to have a, a new way of thinking, all right? Sagittarius. There's going to be some sort of new way of thinking. You're going to be able to finally see some sort of truth. All right? You're going to actually really finally get some sort of truth. All right? So, I mean, I'm feeling really, really, really good about this. And then at the bottom of the deck, what do we have? Wow, the Ten, the ten of Pentacles. Wow. So, you know, the Ten of Pentacles is everything, Sagittarius. It's money, it's love, it's security. That's what you're working towards, towards your Ten of Pentacles. Wow, what an awesome reading. I want to pull um, <clears throat> one of these Irish runes out here as well. And if you're new to the channel, Sagittarius, these particular runes here, these are called the Awam runes. And these are... Um, 
ancient runes from uh, from Ireland and Scotland. And uh, this is every little piece of twig here is a different um, different tree. It's also in a language. This is an alphabet. So I mean, yeah, they're pretty cool. Uh, very popular when Rome occupied their country. All right. So what's going on with Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Hmm. Okay. Oops. Sorry about that, you guys. Bouncing the camera around and stuff. <laughs> uh, let's see what, what rune this is. <clears throat> okay, so uh, Sagittarius, this particular rune here is not one of the original ones. This one is the newer one. This one came out a few hundred years later. All right, so this wasn't one of the actual original alphabets. But the name of this particular rune here is called Or. All right, and this is the spindle tree. And ore is sudden insight that arrives in a pearl of thunder and a flash of lightning. This energy represents fate and destiny. Ore can also represent the completion of a task. So this looks pretty good too, you know. Maybe somebody's going to assist you to complete a task so you can so this will go away. But something is something is definitely getting lifted off of your shoulders for sure and you're moving forward. All right. All right there, Sagittarius. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed your reading. Uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time. Okay, bye for now, Sagittarius.